Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. When we were last left off, I sorted out all our inventory and uh, started sorting out our little home base here. We have our first mannequin wearing uh, light leather studded armor. Hmm. And then we have this gentleman wearing the, is that the imperial armor. And we have a selection of weapons as well, adorning the halls. As we play through the game, this area is going to become more and more grandiose and it will look amazing. By the time we finish. Anyway, I hear adventure calling. So, let's take a quick look at the journal. And, ah, actually, haha, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? We actually, what is the time? It is 10.58pm. So let's go and rest up and wake in the morning. And um, what we shall do is go tell Matey Boy how it went. I think we'll rest for. Let's get a good eight hours. When do we ever get a good eight hours? I know I average about seven hours sleep if I'm lucky. There we go. Wonder bar. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, that is not the door out. Well, I'm sure we'll find a door out here somewhere. There we go. Whew. This game is too easy to play. I could just sit here and just record tons and tons of it. Here we are, beautiful morning in Skyrim. Now, you can touch the stone over there to get down, but that's boring. I just like to jump off. Oh, yeah. That cold, refreshing dip wakes you up in the morning. Now, ah, there's a wolf having some difficulties in the corner, uh, in the far... Uh, what do we have? Yeah. Are we actually going to be able... Ah, he's gone. Or is that him? No, that's a dragonfly. Okay. Let's get on out and get back to Riverwood and hand in our quest. Hopefully we'll get some um, nice uh, gold as a reward. Ah, peaceful little town. Hey, chicken. Right. Nope. There we go. Oh, that music, man. Oh, my. hello. I uh, went to your you cave. The claw. Done it, buddy. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Uh, yeah, already done it, buddy. You Calm down. It. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Really? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. I guess so. Oh, there you go, buddy. Ah, oh, we can actually steal that if we wanted. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Okay. Well, that's all fairly good, but what do I get for it? Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Ah, you do have a point. We have, we are poisoned, actually. Do so you actually have a potion junk. for that? Me, I call them treasures. Cure disease would be wonderful. Ah, cure disease. Whoa! I guess we don't really have a lot of choice. Um, what we really need is a cure um, disease spell. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. Why, well, thank you. My Maybe you're looking. Now we oh, might have some junk to sell that. him. Weapons. Get rid of that, I suppose. Uh, really don't need that. Um, hmm. Hold on to those for the time being. Scroll of hysteria. Creatures and people up to level 12 flee from combat for six seconds. Eh, could come in handy, I guess. Sell the ale, the mead. Um, I think we're okay. The rest. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Uh, why oh, would it this, let me... Bit of that. There we go. Lockpick and a skull. Ah, you can have that. Why not? Till next time. All right, buddy. See you around. Now, unfortunately, he gave us... Two things. 
and one of those was Jack. So let's go on an adventure. What do we have in the old journal? Visit the College of Winterhold. We'll do that, but not just yet. Ah. Yeah, we need to talk to her. I knew I was forgetting something already. Um, no. I prefer not to break into her house if that's all the same to you, game. Ah, she's here. Hello. Neutered. A fine day to you, friend. Thank you. you. die with a sword in your hands. Uh, I prefer not to, but thanks. Do you have any supplies? I can... <laughs> yeah, let's, let's be straight up there, shall we? And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Yeah. Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Okay. Yeah, it's tell me about this place. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. I see. Fascinating. Uh... Cross the river and then head north. You'll see White Run on its hill as you pass the falls. I know where wh White Run is. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. I kind of feel that we um, missed a bit of conversation there somehow. Because she seems very uh, keen to send us away with items. I mean, does she even know that we actually saved her brother? The textures look like they've been downgraded for some reason. As you can see, the rubies still look pretty good. Um, I have to look into that. One of the mods might have gone. Silver ring, silver necklace. We take the healing potions. Oh, take a gift. That's interesting. We take everything then, shall we? We just like completely empty our pockets. Take a gift. Yarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Okay. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Hey, I just saved your brother. Or your husband. Or someone. And, yeah, I may have looted your house, but still. Oh, man. Just dive right in. Well, that was fun. Okay. So let's go have a look in her house, actually. See if she does have anything. Yeah, I feel like we took um, advantage of her generosity there. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Oh, really? Well, you look quite ill. I'll pass. Thank you. Um, hmm. Where's her house? What are you staring at? Nothing. You want to make someone of it? Need something? No, that's what I thought. Okay. Sleeping Giant Inn. Let's see what they have. Hey, look at this place. Orgnar. Very cozy. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. <laughs> the ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Did you hear me? Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Um, do I smell a quest? We need oh, a room. Right. Talk to Delphine. Uh, what have you got for sale? Let's sate that appetite. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard the ale's pretty bad. Uh. Oh, blood wine. Resist forty percent poison. Can breathe underwater for fifty seconds. Yeah. Hawker stew. Hmm. Tell you what, that does kind of look kind of nice, I guess. Uh, lavender dumpling. Yeah, this is some of the new food in the game. Potato bread. Potato stew. Interesting. What else you got? You got nothing, I guess. I'm looking for Here, it. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. A bounty, huh? That sounds right up our alley. Rumors. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Ah. Well, that's hardly fantastic. Let's All go right talk then. to Delphine. Hello. You're that visitor been poking around. Well, by poking around, you mean I've turned up in town, yes. 
They say a dragon attacked Helgen. Yeah, Sounds I was like there. To me. <laughs> uh, you'll believe it sooner or later, trust me. Right, okay. Uh, hey, Sven. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. What? She's already mine, I keep telling him. What? I saw a dragon. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. I guess he does. You and Fendral both like the same girl. Oh dear. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. Elf, huh? I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Okay. He sounds persistent. Why not do something about it? <laughs> yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindall as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Oh dear, what yeah. have I done? Give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindall. Um, okay. At the Bard's College in Solitude, they train bards and skalds like myself. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. Will do. Is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? Yeah, because that seems to be um, not happening here. Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. Uh -huh. If you Already need seen weapons him. or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Yeah, I went to him and he made me make my own sword, so no. I'd better get going. Didn't even make my own sword, he made me make my own helmet there once was a and a dagger. Named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Where did you instead? get that from? Who cares? Right. Okay, so let's read this letter that Matey Boy's given us. Uh, books. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true born son of Valenwood and could never be foul my bloodline with courting an imperial <gasps> I'm hurt I hope we can remain true friends provided you understand your people's place ooh really in the Almiri dominion and respect me as such sincerely Fendril mmm pretty uh, interesting terms alright well let's go give the letter to her now, who was she again? I, where's she gone? I'm probably after the wrong woman, actually. Who was it? it was ah, wasn't she the one in the the store? Actually, thinking about it. Watch for watch the skies. Riverwood's agreeable on that. Ah, you for a Nord village. Damn stinking elf. There's you beauty want? here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Hey, I'm not betraying my own kind. I'll show you what I know. Really? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, let's find. What's her name? Not in there. Actually, I believe if we go to our journal, we can set it. Ah, wow. We got a lot of. Deliver Sven's letter. Now, where is she? I think we actually have to... Yeah. That's one thing that is kind of annoying. It will default your main quest above everything else. So, if we get rid of that... Now, we should have quest markers. No. No, we don't. It's interesting. Actually, I think that's what does it. There we go. You actually have to click on that. Gotcha. Uh, oh, is she in there? I guess she is, because we just did her a favor. All right, you. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Not a problem. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Oh, I can't lie. I'm too good. Um... Hmm, Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from... Oh. 
Eh, why not? What are you talking about? What's in the letter? <laughs> oh god, we're in too deep. He, he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Um, Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. Um, well, <laughs> we just stabbed our friend in the back, but we never knew him, so it's fine. Let's talk to Fen Fendal. He can't be in there. I don't think I did that last time. The one and only time you'll see me sticking up for a stinking elf. There's beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Hey, not bad. Ah, follow me. I need your help. Oh, really? You can become Ooh, a follower? Yeah, fair enough. We don't need anyone, though. Now, let's check out this other letter we had. What do you got for me? Bounty. Now, bounties are something I can get behind. By the order of... that Bulgur? The Greater. To all able-bodied men and women of Whiterun, the bandits located in the Silent Moon camp have been attacking, harassing, robbing, and attacking... Citizens and visitors, a reward will be offered to anybody who kills the leader. I'm sure we can manage that. Uh, journal. So let's kill the bandit leader. Let's do it. My sword arm was getting weak anyway. Um,. Where are they situated? Oh, bloody hell. Well, we've got a ways to go, I guess. Might as well start making our way towards Whiterun. <laughs> this could take a while. Ooh, stuff. Definitely going to take a while if we stop for stuff every five seconds. Now, whose salmon is this? Free salmon. Salmon you don't find every day. Now, I don't know if we can actually eat salmon raw. We should be able to, but I'm not sure. Salmon. Yeah, you can. Alright. Actually looks like nice salmon steak, actually. If you like fish. Personally, I always say if it's from the sea, it's not for me. Now... Let's grab some of this stuff. Ah, I was about to say, oh, look, a free horse, but no. Nobody would give us a free horse. Ah, rabbit. You're lucky I'm a kind natured soul and that I'm not hungry. God damn, Skyrim. It's incredible. Right. Now. Oh, hello. Um, why is my weapon not drawing? I see they haven't ironed out all the bugs in this game. Um, that would obviously be too much to ask. Archery has increased. That's what I like to hear. Ah, I did look up. Apparently there was a patch that removed the level cap. Entirely, I might add. Which is pretty damn awesome. So it is now possible to get to level 100. Or beyond. Which is... Oh, hello. What's going on here? Why do I feel the need to push F5 before I intervene? Hey, fellas. Aerial business. Be on your way. Is that so? What's going on? Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with... Imperial How business. so? Stormcloak. Um. If I click that, what can I give him? Uh, have a... I can't actually give you anything, I'm afraid, sir. You can have a silver necklace, but I don't think that'll help you. Um, I think I've freed him into the clutches of death. Uh, there we go. Oh god! I don't know if I'm going to be able to save this man after all. Ah well, he died. At least he died a free man. Kind of. 
in a not very free man way. Die! Damn Imperial scum. Take me to the block, will ya? I think not. Unfortunately, this time I don't have a dragon to save me, but I have flames, which is something I didn't have before. Damn scummy Imperials. Wait a minute, I'm an Imperial. Uh, Steel Dagger, Imperial Sword, Imperial Bow. That might actually be better than ours. I guess we can take the Imperial Light Armor and we can flog it when we get to White Rum. Steel Arrows, Gold, Studded Armor. Uh, oops. We can actually carry quite a lot. We might as well take it, I suppose. Sorry, friend. We tried. Kind of. We didn't really try that hard, though. Uh, right. Well, we should auto-heal anyway. Ah! Ah, hang on. This is our meadery. This will be generating us a fair amount of coin in the coming months. Wow, white rum was a lot closer than I thought it was, actually. Hello. Who are you? They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. It did. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Well, yeah, you say that. I can handle. They're pretty big. This talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. Not what you said a second ago. Yeah. Where's the meadery? I'm sure... Hunting Brew Meadery. Yeah, this is the one. This is new. I think. Is this the one that is ours? I'm sure it is. Let's go have a look. I, like I say, I have a feeling we may have to buy it before we can use it. Um, <clears throat> I know... Hmm. This was possibly here before, actually, but I don't think you could own it. Whereas now we can. There we go. Found a way in there eventually. Uh, boilery. We don't need to get in the boilery. Yeah. Let's have a little look. I'm pretty sure it costs a fair amount of money, as you'd expect. Or you might even have to just do a quest for it. Hey, buddy. Hunting brew uses only the finest natural honey. Not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. <laughs> Is that so? What have you Take got to say? Pretty sure it's probably just... Uh, all right. Jug of milk. And again, milk is a new item. I think you can use that to bake cakes. Uh, well, that venison chop looks pretty good. But I'll pass. Maybe I'll this... Like maybe this isn't the uh, meadery that we can buy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this... What are you doing? If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. No, I'll take your word for it. If you're looking it. to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Savio. You said something about sampling. Now you're telling me to buy? Mm, you need something, something to going do on or here. you just enjoy slowing down the hard-working folk? I can assure you, sir, I'm working much harder than you. If you want to buy something, go find Savjorn. Otherwise, piss off. All right. Christ. Oh, I'm going. Tree, Jesus. Savior, Fine. I ain't coming back here, buddy. I'm gonna go and farm my own meadery. Put you out of business. Bastards. Uh, there's a warm Skyrim welcome here. Now, where is the meadery? I may have to look it up. <clears throat> but I was fairly sure it was quite close to Whiterun. Anyway. Let's go to Whiterun. Let's just have a look on the map, because sometimes mods do show up on the map. Uh, there's definitely nothing here. It's possible it, I might have to <clears throat> uh, re-download that mod. But I was sure it like plonked it here or somewhere. But Never mind, I might be getting it confused with that meadery. Anyway, to Skyrim. Let's go tell the Jarl something about dragons. <clears throat> I believe there's, um... Ooh. Usually... Um... Giants around here. Giants are fun to fight when you're low level. They make you fly. 
Well, you're doing a whole lot of nothing. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. Actually, you know what? I think a horse will be a good idea. Ha. Huh. Slim pickings today, hey? How much Got for a horse? The steeds in all the Skyrim. I take you Man like it. you needs a war horse, I reckon. Uh, sounds good to me. How old None are they? of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now, I know nothing horse about I got horses. For sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. How much are we talking here? Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. A grand. Ouch. Definitely want yourself. one, but not yet. Right, not that rich. Right. Talking of being rich, how much money do we actually have? Oh, I guess we could just almost afford it, but it's not really worth it. Not yet. Although getting a horse is definitely required in this game, for the early game, when you can't fast travel everywhere. Definitely need a horse. I was going to say, whilst we're here, we nip home, but we don't own that house yet. <clears throat> Plenty of quests, actually. Where are we? Nah, still a fair way off that place. Let's just go talk to the Jarl. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Well, that's a happy coincidence. I have news. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. I bet you will. Talking about uh, getting arrows in your knee and such forth, I suppose. Actually, when I was recording this video, uh, my test video, <clears throat> one of the first things they actually said is the whole arrow in the knee line. It's just like, ah, nothing we'll ever changes. It takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Well, he's dead. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Scum. Right. Actually, I don't know if he is. Who are you? Greymane or Battleborn. What? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn. Um, I don't know what you're asking. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. Interesting. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Uh, we're not picking Sooner the sides, just... we all have to choose a side. Well, I... the Empire. I'm not siding with the Empire. They tried to put me to the block. Uh, you may not have known that, but there you go. So uh, I definitely am not siding with those assholes. Give me your money. Hello. I, I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your nose. Is that so? Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. <laughs> no, please. I really don't have any money, Braith. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. Is that so? What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. Really? It's You're no right, buddy. fun getting pushed around all the time. What does a kid do for fun around well, here? I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the grey mane's yard. <laughs> and me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. Sounds safe. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty sure he gives you a quest, and I say quest I loosely. Family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. What? It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. Really? So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. 
I'll help you, you for free. Sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. What a bitch. You hey, buddy. Mercenary work? It might suit you. Um, you're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. Uh, no, I guess I'm so. a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. What are you two arguing my about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Mm -hmm. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I agree. Sorry to hear that. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Oh, I have a feeling that we're probably going to find that. Maybe in the next video. Wait, I... What? Right, are you going to stop being a bitch? Nothing like a good adventure or romance to lose yourself in. Um. I import books whenever I can. Most Nord works are too bawdy and violent for my taste. Hmm, okay. I don't like you. Right, let's go see the Yarl, and then we call it a video. Oh, this... Oh, how I've missed you, sir. Ah, we can actually get cured of all of our ailments here. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man. I take your word for it. Right. Now let's. I spend oh, hello. a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Ah, really? Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Okay. Looking to become Before a merchant. Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Mammoth stuff, huh? Done. Mm, <laughs> good luck with that. I, <clears throat> I think we could probably help you her. Did? Yeah, if sure. You find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future. Lady, you have a deal. You mentioned trading caravans. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. Really? It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Mm, Worst true. thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Of course not. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Who trusts cats? Now, people-sized, grown cats. Ugh. Cats with opposable thumbs. Yeah, there's a reason not to trust them. Why not? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yes, true, true. About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Elsewhere, Great warriors, I love that. good traders. The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Sounds awesome. It'd uh, make a great uh, Elder Scrolls 6, I think. Um, okay. Yeah, it's got to be. Worst thing is. Do you trust them? Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And Anord knows a liar when she sees one. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, well, we must go see the Earl. Actually, did we level up? No. Close, but not quite. God, what's it like? You can't even walk through the street yeah, these days without... They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. Hey, hey, hey. Enough out of you, buddy. I'm back in the damn storm cloaks as well. They didn't Apple try and put me on the block. And I were best friends as children. If I see that traitor again, I'll throw him in jail myself. Hmm. <laughs> That's so. Uh, well, good luck with that. Yep, I think we're going to be helping out these Stormcloaks. Skyrim for the Nords. Ooh. Wow. I really have forgotten so much about this game. Nothing. My lord. Where are you going? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. 
that so. You put that sword away if I was you, unless you want to get hurt. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. I expect he will. Yeah, last when I first played this, I had a ATI 5770 graphics card. I just remembered that. Damn. And that ran this game so pretty well. you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? <laughs> Look at him slouched in there. God, some people. Yes, I had a great view of the Imperial uh, while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. The dragon destroyed Helgen last I saw. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Well, but it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Okay. The dragon destroyed. Ah, the Imperials are about to execute. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. Mm -hmm. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? <laughs> My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. I reckon in the so. Most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, it's a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Good man. Merlet, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Anything for me? Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. What you give me? There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Okay, I am listening. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting you should mention this particular wizard. In another reality, Someone spent a lot of money with him. He's a great person to come for soul gems. Come on. I know you've been sitting down all day and your ass is probably numb, but Jesus. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Yeah. So the old thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Indeed. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, Listening. when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Hmm. Funny you should mention a stone dragon tablet. I so happen to have one in my back pocket. Shame there's no line that says that. Alright, where am I going? What am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. <laughs> Leave those details to your betters, am I right? What? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Gleek Falls Barrow. Hmm. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Gleek Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Well, oh, do you mean this old stone? <laughs> ah. The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found yep. it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. Yep. So, I'm not too bothered about a reward. I get you the Dragon Stone. What's that next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. <laughs> I can imagine. Right, okay guys. Oh, wow. Hello. Who's shouting at someone? Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it there uh, as we are on 40 minutes again. Uh, thanks for watching. And when we come back, I guess we're uh, going to go on some more adventures. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.